Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Musky Boys Neuralink got approved for the humans. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I just heard about this last night, and yes, it did. You, uh, but you got to be, you got to be paralyzed. Yeah, and that's what I was like. How far I are you willing to go to get in there? So here's the thing: when I did sign up for it, I, I we actually brought this up on the whole episode where we talked about me signing up for Neuralink. Yeah, yeah. I was told, I was I brought up the point is like I don't think I'm gonna be. Uh, able to get in because it seems like they want you to have like a serious n neurological problem how, the, how committed are you what does that mean you want me what do you to, want to do to get in that program you mean are you suggesting that i cause myself brain damage in order to get a neural link <laughs> i mean is that what you're I insinuating didn't say that you're i kind of feel like you're going that direction though right i mean right? i'm just asking how dedicated to the cause you are that's it i'm i would i would do a lot to get it would you would you do uh, that would i do what would, what you i mean anything for love if you do anything for Neuralink, but you won't do that i don't know what that is it, that's the problem nobody knows what that, that is that's a good point he never told us no exactly i always thought that it was like you know have a threesome with another man that was just my thinking oh like she he wanted to be with her but she wanted him to like come into her relationship with her husband yeah like it was like a whole cuck thing i thought it was kind of like that oh I would do anything for love, anything you've been dreaming, dreaming of. But I just, uh, well, it was having, it was having a black dude come in and <laughs> wow. And no, honestly, if I was meatloaf, there's no way I'm having some black dude come in and f my wife. She wanted, she wanted to have like the what the the double the double what double penis. <laughs> <laughs> They call that the uh, the Neapolitan. Is that, is that what that? <laughs> I believe so. Because it's the pink, the who, chocolate, who's and vanilla. The pink? Who's the pink? This guy. I'll let you think about oh, it. Oh, never mind. Think about it. There uh, it is. It's the, snapped in. The I told Neapolitan. You. I get yeah. it. Yeah. That's a wild thing to say. Bruh, I'm, that was off the top of the head, too. I oh, thought wow. of that on the spot. You never heard that? Never heard oh, of it. I just made it up. But hey. damn it, if it wasn't just I mean gold in that in that specific situation you were talking about, I it, know. Yeah, it is. I know. Yeah, I surprise myself sometimes. Man, Neapolitan meatloaf's kind of pink though. We had a chance to do a Neapolitan. I think we should we should probably get a Neapolitan going on before, <laughs> before we stop before we stop compounding. Yeah. I don't know before it's too late. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We could find like some sixty-year-old woman in Neapolitan, maybe. Uh, wow, is that, is that is that Jesus? It ain't just gonna be a random random Thursday. That's for goddamn. I'm sure. trying to think if I mean because it's easy for me to do it because I I assume that the missing ingredient in the Neapolitan is usually the chocolate, right? That's that's like the limiting reagent. Okay. And like I'm always supplying, you know. Yeah. I'm always supplying chocolate. I got plenty of that, baby. Got plenty of chocolate. Yep. Um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, probably. I'd say you're probably probably more apt to fall into that than I would be. What does that mean? Because you have the chocolate. You were just talking about you're more apt to get it because you got the oh, chocolate. Okay, I thought you meant I'm more apt to fall into a Neapolitan situation than you. No, no. I mean, you, you might be more have more. Uh, selection. Okay. They yeah. might come to you more often for so, it. So, uh, how many times have you like Nesquik? Nesquik? <laughs> Nesquik? Yeah. I don't think I've ever Nesquik. <laughs> that's that's, that's uh, strawberry milk, so it's more milk than strawberry. You know, a little double milk, a little strawberry. <laughs> I don't know, but Nesquik can be chocolate I, or strawberry. I don't know. I'm trying to be real coy about saying how many threesomes have you had uh, with none. other men. With other men. Oh. No, I'm just saying, like two dudes, and you know, no man, I, that's I, never happened. Nope, no, nope, never, nope. Three I, girls, nope. No man, what, what's your body count? <laughs> How many people I've murdered? <laughs> hey man, you answer the question which way, whichever way you see, <laughs> whichever fit. way you want it, and then we can talk about each one, <laughs> like like Marty Jannetty talking about murdering somebody. No man, uh. No, not threesomes. Okay. No. 
Okay. Not saying that like that's off the table. I'm just saying that the you know sometimes sometimes the menu's limited. That is sometimes the menu's limited. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sometimes you walk in and they got the lunch menu. The lunch menu's yeah, not available. Like, it's only the lunch menu. Like the dinner menu's not. It doesn't start yeah. for three or four hours. And I'm like, well, I'm here now. Damn it! I really I want to come back. I sometimes really... you only get the chance to read the menu when it's in your hand. Like the menu's in your hand, and that's it. That's your opportunity. You got what's on the menu. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? You can't see what can I go back for breakfast. Like you can't. You can't say that. You stop serving breakfast at eleven. Like you can't say that. Right. Right. Yeah. No idea what he's talking about, folks. <laughs> I lost the innuendo. I lost the innuendo at moons over my hammy. I... Dude. Yeah. Right. You're looking for moons over my hammy, and you're like, lady. Let's get some hammy in these moons. And she's like, I'm sorry. It's Salisbury steak or country fried steak or nothing. Bro, I will. Do you want a, a chicken Caesar salad? <laughs> I will turn into a police officer real quick. Uh, mm, mm, no, I don't want your country fried steak. No, I don't. What's your double ducking? How many double ducks you got? Uh, I'm not comfortable talking about that. I don't know why you would ask me such a question on the podcast. What? I feel like I give enough of myself you on this podcast. You just asked me the same question. I'm sorry. You you're answered like, it, you're too. You're like, I'll ask you anything. How do you know I'm not lying? I don't know I'm if you're lying. I lie about all. I lie all the time. I can't help it if your moral fiber is less than mine. I that you moral fiber. I'm a trash <laughs> That you would game. answer a question about your sexual I'm a habits. Piece of shit. Trash. <laughs> I would never do that on this podcast. Hey, you've never talked about it. You've talked about some real nasty ish on this podcast. I share what I feel comfortable sharing. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> oh my god, man! So I will tell this story because this Let's is go. funny. So I went on a date last week, and uh, oh yeah, 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 it was cool. I actually went to like this. Uh, I went to like this the restaurant where they do like Korean barbecue. We have a Korean barbecue place that's in uh, in uh, Austin, and uh, you know it's 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 very like trendy Austin Korean it's, barbecue. Um, can I hot take it? Go ahead. It's kind of trash. You, you, Jonas wasn't for the for you. the price for the price point. Trash. I mean, it's buffet though, so it's it's all you can eat. I, don't I mean, that's in quotes because there ain't a buffet. You gotta tell homeboy to bring it to your table. And he's like, "Oh, you want more veggies?" And you're like, "Did I ask you for more veggies? Yeah, I want some more broccoli. Thanks." They got three pieces of broccoli on the goddamn table. You want some cream broccoli? No, I want the broccoli. It doesn't have any goddamn cream on it. That's on the table to start with. I don't want cream broccoli. I want real broccoli. Is that what you told him? Because that's what I wanted to say. No, she I'm goes, not. "Oh, you hungry?" No, I didn't. Know. <laughs> I didn't feel that way. She said, oh, you hungry? I did ask them how much the ice cubes were worth, though. You were like, how much How much is these ice cubes worth? <laughs> so anyway, just, sorry. You, we went no, it's it. fine. So I went on a date. The date went all right. It was fine. The, the story isn't really about the date. We, you want to talk about the next one? Because we're getting close. This is a good thing to bring up. No, it's fine. Then I, I went to the gas station after the date, and I shit my pants. That's the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't feel comfortable talking about certain things, but I feel comfortable telling you that I, I, I thought I just had to have gas, man. It was, I just wanted to say is that it happens to all of us. If if TNT Dynamite can talk about him going I don't to know the last time that I that I did that. Is, well, uh, you know what? Maybe we can talk about that one on the next episode. No, you... I mean it's fine to put it at the end. Nobody no, listens right. this far. Are you gonna okay? So like mine, I just wanted to kind of go over it. I didn't. Yeah, you know, I thought I just had to have gas. You're asking that's like, normally how, what it is. How can a grown man shit his pants? Look, man, I'm just glad I didn't do it on the date. <laughs> it was. Would it really been that bad? Yeah, because I would have had to end the date. Yeah, that would have been bad. I think that, like, even though I wasn't really feeling the chick, I definitely, that would have been, hmm, that would have been unfortunate. It w I mean, you're not wrong. I would probably have crawled into a ball and died. <laughs> but, but she wouldn't have known that that's why you were ending it. But me. It would have been very sad. You're like, I gotta go. She's like, excuse me? You're nah. like, here's, here's 50 bucks. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> But with me, you know, standing at the gas pump, no embarrassment, no harm, no foul. Sitting back in my car was a bit of like I was just like, oh, that's they, a bad. Day. I didn't know what to expect. But uh, trouble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. It was fine. I took a shower. Yeah, you fixed yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now it's clean enough to eat off of. <laughs> Subjective. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Do you think? Uh, we out. <laughs>